so recently I played uh, Pit Fighter <coughs> and I had no idea that, th that uh, there was a follow-up but yeah. here it is so your guy becoming rich as the other guy did oh this this is this isn't even about uh, this isn't even about making money it's about cleaning up the streets yo Poser. Look, so we all know, if someone's doing a pit fight and shit like that, they want to do it because they want to make money. And was that a guy with tits? I couldn't tell. It looked uh... like it. Looked like it. Anyway, Connor, superb, superb fighter trained in boxing and karate. Chief. Former wrestler built like a truck and out for revenge. Also, this is the guy that, that looks like a guy with kit, with uh, tits. Oh, master in boxing and karate. I think my one of my cousin's friends, who was part of the Israeli special forces, could kick his ass easily. Really? Yeah. My cousin was a Marine. One of his friends, you know, after retiring from the Israeli Special Forces, got a job in the U.S. Ooh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm pretty sure Top Kickboxer. Krav Magra would kill it, that karate kid. Javier, top kickboxer endowed with speed and agility. And Tanya, the statuesque cat. Tall, fast, and beautiful. If that's her only traits, ah, uh, I'm not too intimidated. Let's Me try neither. and see what happens. Also, what the hell does "cat tall" mean anyway? Somebody probably got drunk off of off of Catwoman, and this is the result of them riding. That's the only logic I can come up with. So who do I play as? The boxer, the kickboxer, the wrestler, or the, uh, um, the chick? Boob man. Boob man. Wait, what? And look at the image right here. Underneath the uh, straps, it looks like he's holding boobs. Oh, well, that just looks like heavy. He has big ass pants more than boobs. Wow, the Joker really fell on hard times, didn't he? It looks like a woman trying to look intimidating in a, in a suit. Moonwalk by purpley, purple wearing man. You know, it's not every day where you where you actually use a homeless person as a projectile. <laughs> I said you were going to get this story. Why did you do that? You and you and the homeless guy thought they could get any worse. I believed in you. Why? I don't know why I find that so satisfying. Here's a homeless person. He obviously was a criminal. Why else could you attack him? A homeless guy who just had to run a bad luck. But you can fight him! And we're here trying to clean up the streets! So, ergo, he's gotta be a bad guy! To clean up the streets from gangs, not homeless people! <laughs> okay! 
Okay, purple wing man, stop thrusting! Okay, you getting whacked by the random prostitute? That's just proof that they are the problem. Are you sure you would want to be going around the street, barefoot, purple man? And I'm all lady and child in the background. This gang know the law of in law of in proof of fortune. Wait, no, I forget what I'm saying. I guess this gang is full of idiots who think fighting one at a time is a good idea. That's good for a start. Let's work out at the gym. First to survive two rounds continues for free. So this is the point where you start setting your quarters in. Up here. Yeah, I just be up a girl. Ugh. Oh yeah. Does not matter if you are. What the fuck did she just? Did she just toss a projectile? What the fuck? Um, you know she was doing that before? Uh, I kinda did, but at the same time, I'm like, why? That's a projectile power! At that point, you'd be wondering, am I even in the same league as someone that can actually shoot energy weaponry? Uh... So, after the certain characters of... Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat. But this guy isn't in that category. Yeah, but some of those people in the that category can't shoot projectiles either. And round two, you got your ass handed to you. Thank you. Okay. Not really, she just ran out the clock. You know, like a cheap shot artist she is. I'm gonna kick her between the legs. I wonder which is more painful, getting kicked in the vagina or kicked in the balls? Um, yes. I, I mean, it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter. Just getting kicked between the legs hurts. Fuck is this guy? Oh, 
also like it, it also kind of looks like Michael Jackson for some reason. I was thinking more of Macaulay Culkin. Except their shirt is a different color. He's suplexing you left, right, and center. No, that's a pile driver. That's even worse. Okay, fair enough. You need energy badly. You snap into a Slim Jim. He's not right to Randy Randy Savage. Sorry, there's no Slim Jims available for you. Okay, I'm curious. I am I, I am very curious now. About what? How how do I do wrestling maneuvers with the wrestler? Because uh evidently the there is a pal driver maneuver in this game. Hmm. Hit all the buttons at the same time, I guess? I don't know. I don't know either. Have I just tried, hurt myself. Uh, have you trying? Have you tried different combinations of buttons? Yeah, in fact, I even mapped different uh, combinations of buttons. I guess the game think fuck you. Okay, I just found the I just found the operator's manual. Yep, 
the operator's manual. Let's read it together, shall we? <laughs> Safety summary. Uh, set up self-test schematics. <coughs> I'm a little scared because there is a there there is an image of a child in this game. I know he wasn't popular yet, but that, that looks like the worst impression of Stone Cold. As long as you get to eat up the kid, there's not a problem. <laughs> that would be a, that would be funny. Okay, game characters. Connor, an all-around good fighter trained in both boxing and karate. He possesses amazing quickness for his size. Graduating with honors from Center City University in medicine, he is considered the most eligible bachelor of the town. Chief, tough as a truck and the size of three men. After losing his family in a battle between two rival gangs, he pledged to bring back peace to the city. He is also de he, he is so devoted to the cause that he passed up a multi-million dollar football offer. Tanya, she is the tall, statuesque cat. When not securing the peace in Center City, she could be found adoring, adorning the covers of major fashion magazines. Her father's duty and special uh, forces okay. influ her father's duty and special forces influenced her interest in the martial arts. She possesses black belts in Tai Chi, Taekwondo, and Kung Fu. Um, after watching her perform in the gym, no. Javier. He is a gold medal winner in kickboxing. His natural speed and agility added, aided his ability to be a multi-sport athlete. After the Guardians of the Hood clean up the city, he plans to return to his shortstop position on the Center, center City Bashers. Okay. <clears throat> The new Power Perfect 3D digitized graphics make the action almost too close for comfort, but you be the judge of that. Mmm, not really. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the buttons. What are the button combinations? Keep going down, then. That's what I am doing. As you can tell. Yes, I'm still good to take. Alphanumeric test, playfield test screen, motion object test, color test, convergence test, troubleshooting, maintaining the coin mechanism, repairing video display. in the illustrations. Assembly. Notes. Power supply assembly. PCB assembly. Schematic diagrams. Okay, nothing about the combinations. You don't have to just live with what you got. Or you can go online and type in this game and bug comments and see what you get. Guardians of the Hood. 
There has to be a listing on GameFAQ. There has to be. There's a listing, but there's no uh, there's there's no walkthroughs, no uh, no codes, nothing. Combos. Nothing. Well, it's a not very well known arcade game. What do you expect to find? Uh something. <laughs> I I I've been around the, with mobile games and the majority of them don't end up with any information. So I'm not too afraid arcade games are basically in the same camp. Alright, what kind of cheats does this game offer? Infinite credits, infinite time, enemies die instantly, infinite energy, infinite stars. Let's go ahead and turn that one on. Fuck it. Infinite time. We don't really need to worry about timers. You know what? I didn't bind uh, buttons together. I just simply had some of the buttons uh, mapped out. By the way, this is a three-player game. Three players? Why not four? That. can definitely do a nasty spin kick, but there's still no hint of how to uh, of how to do a pile driver. To grapple and then do a move? What's grapple? Good point. Guardians of the Hood.
Dude! I got some bad news for you. There's nothing. I found a review of this game and they said you have to figure out the combinations on your own. On your own. They're not gonna give you any hints on how to do combinations. Combinations. <laughs> Theater is this supposed to be? One that has probably the drunkest, highest clap crowd in the world. Fair enough. Well, it's not it. Now you're fighting a man who's just wearing pajama pants. Hey, pajama pants are quite nice and comfortable. I don't think you would want to fight in just that. Hey, if they're baggy enough and give me movement. Just ended up in the most undefeatable boss. What? You beat him and then you can be him. So now you're you can beat Dick Gang. Good work, but you must get better. Use your magic. One, two, three, fight. In that case, why just use the magic and make the hood a better place to begin with? You just use magic, don't need to punch anything. Two, three. 
You're getting your ass handed to you. Yes, I am, because I don't know the button combinations. Yeah, and, he's kind of a bitch. And they refuse to say... Figure it out enough. Yeah, basically, you're going to have to so, and the buttons are very unintuitive, so it makes it doubly hard. found out on FAQ we have voted this the worst action art action arcade game hmm that's a bit of an accomplishment Um, the fuck? Look, you're just seeing a neat little orgy. You just saw them beat up a random business for no apparent reason, and those women have giant ass mohawks! 80s terrific. Oh, oh no. Uh, that happened! Uh, Hello, Flasher! Yes. Did I get a higher rating with points of Flasher away to being the point of the character? No, they can't shit the, John, the Jimmy John stuff at all. Yeah, so why yeah. have a flagger in the game if that don't want the shovel feet stuff? I'll just beat him up and start randomly walking through. Yo, everyone, they's hoof and hoof right into the hood. This is a little weird ass hood. It sure is. Another random fat man. Oh, in the background, that's a guy. Oh, trying to sell stuff. Throw the slow man, and I got run. What? Jesus, I killed them all.
Oh, another giant man named Tiny. Okay, you're not original. He bitch slapped you to hell. The fuck are you playing? Guardians of the Hood. <clears throat> that is the fucking greatest title I've ever heard. That's right next to Home Voice from Outer Space. It's one of the greatest titles I've ever heard. I just came back from watching a film with my brother, and I come back to this. This is fantastic. This is <laughs> It's like a gift that keeps giving. Just watched yes. a movie with my brother, I come back, and here I am looking at... Oh, looking at... I don't know what I'm looking at. Tyra... 1990s Tyra Banks beat the shit out of Michael Chickler. <laughs> and now she's fighting one of the extras from Road Warrior. <laughs> Ooh. Wait till you see what happens next. Wait, there's more to this? <laughs> You're able to throw homeless people if you do it right. Is this a good game at the very least? There's novel the novel <laughs> Jesus No, Christ. it's not. Not, it's a little, It's a pretty bad art. Arcade. It's a pretty bad art action arcade game where you basically have to figure out the, the combinations on your own. Okay, I'm gonna say right now that 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 was she that black woman just picked up a homeless man on the subway and threw him at somebody. Yes. I don't care if it's a bad game. This is a fucking masterpiece to be. How many games can you say I can pick up a homeless person? <laughs> and how many? How many? Because even Grand Theft Auto doesn't let you do that. Not even Saints Row will let you do that. Kind of. Kind of in Saints Row. Yeah, I guess, but you gotta use all these weird contraptions. I'm talking about literally picking a homeless man up with your bare hand and throwing him to somebody. Well, now you get to watch someone who kind of looks like you and some coffee people up. Also, Boris, nice name. Also, nice to see when I see when I hear Guardians of the Hood, I'm seeing it's basically Ice Cube backup dancers. Cause when was this game made? Uh, 1992. All right, so and okay, so NWA was just starting up, so they hadn't accepted. Rap music was still considered the devil's music in that period. What? You know what NWA is, right? I'm just confused the. No, I'm talking about the comment of considering rap music devil music. What I'm. Dude, that shit when it came out, oh man, people were fucking pissed. You know, they're pissed, but literally saying from saying I never heard that comment ever. Go go watch the movie Straight Outta Compton if you want to see how people reacted to this shit back in the day. I will sometime. Oh, and here's the guy who we beat up in the first level. Oh my level. god, sure now he gets like Jamaican a man in pajamas. This game's amazing. <laughs> this was the guy you had you beat up, you beat up in the first. He beat the first gang. That's the first gang here, and now you get to play it. Yay! 
Yeah, you be him, then you can be him. So you basically beat him with beat him into Stockholm syndrome. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Get away. Yeah. You beat him and he goes, "How can you?" Oh God, this is so like early '90s, late '80s. Fucking hurts to look at. Oh, it's clothes. Oh my. Lightning and Thunder! That's totally a stand-in for Polly right there. Oh, Polly and Polly and Mr. Miyagi. Oh yeah, because he's an old he's an old ass uh, coach, but he's white, so with a mustache and less hair than probably either one of the Oh uh, yeah, he is broke. Granted, Mr. Miyagi didn't teach his students how to actually throw gym bikes at each other. <laughs> Seriously. Now, 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 if Karate Kid had that, it'd be a really fucking action back movie. But they wouldn't, but they wouldn't be, be any sort of martial arts. That would be something else. Well, you know, the whole thing is, oh, it's, it's about the mind and body, not about the physical. I'm like, bullshit, you just... Bullshit, this kid, you know, you just don't want to have the kid fighting people in the movie. This kid couldn't fight people for shit, so they're like, oh, we have to write something in. Well, he was a better actor in, in this situation. Good movie, I'm just saying. I am not arguing that one. Oh my god, people are jazzercising in the background. This is amazing. <laughs> Seriously, look at this! Oh fuck, this is this is the greatest thing I've ever seen. Thank you, Reese, for letting me know this exists. <laughs> I do my best. Seriously, I, I now know Guardians of the Hood exists. I could die right now and be happy. <laughs> But then you might miss out something that might make you even more happy. Okay, this is gonna be hard to top. I don't know about you. This is. Looks like a piss fighting game, but goddammit, it, it look, it's amazing. Two layers off from what they go. What kind of you make all the pit fighter? Yeah. Yes, let me throw my giant man chest in front of you. That'll do some damage. <laughs> Seriously, it's like someone was grinding up all the worst cringeworthy shit of the 90s and made a game out of it. Seriously, the best part though is the background. Look at that. One of the girls has uh, one of the girls in the background has one of the old dance pants in the background. Uh, yeah, that's something wearing, you haven't seen in a long time. Little kid wearing a fucking hat, like just as like I said, this is just when rap was started. So the wiggers, that's the best kid would evolve into a wigger. So right there. What's a wigger? A wigger is a term for white people who try to be black. Oh. AK, I listen to a lot of uh, I listen to a lot of rap music, so I know the culture. Yep, you also have the Wapanese. Oh, the hell you? Look, Isn't another word for weeaboo. Yeah, Wapanese is basically a synonym for weeaboo. Yeah, the rap synonym for weeaboo. Man, he was not having any of my shit. He's literally picking up gym bikes. Like, why is no one stopping him? I thought this thought this is a, the rules to this. Apparently, this is this is Thunderdome. Two men enter, one man leaves. This... One, two, three, five. Well, they well, have it's, actually. Well, the Thunderdome may as well bring in Tina Turner. figure it out. Reach to figure it out. Each character has some sort of magic. Move. 
I'm glad you brought that up, Reese, because this movie is so goddamn late 80s, early 90s, we may actually see it. I am not gonna put this game past that, that Tina Turner is just gonna sh show up and say we don't need a hero. It sure isn't Grace Jones, I'll tell you that much. To be fair, this is about as what awkward fighting actually looks like when you put real people in it. I have I have seen street fights, watched street fights on Worldstar. This is about as awkward as it is. So this game pretty much gets points for realism. This game. Well, it makes it one of the it's awkwardness the one of the worst out there. One of the best fight videos I ever saw. Some. Guy comes out, some guy comes out, takes his shirt off like it's fucking Vin Diesel, and then just gets his ass handed to him. It's hysterical. It's so basically, he goes, I'm a badass, and everyone goes, No, you're not. But what happens is, it, like, these two guys come out, they take the shirts off, like, listen, like they're fucking Vin Diesel or something, and then it's like a slap fight, basically. And one other guy, it's a dude on the ear, and I'm like, What was going through this dude's head when he decided to do that? Ah! Yeah, 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 baby, go Power back to your room with hickeys on your you? neck, motherfucker. Depending on how old the video is, I could go with the power of Mike Tyson compels you. Yeah, he wasn't having any of my shit. Nope. Good god, my hands are starting to cramp up from this. Go on to another game? Because it doesn't seem you're gonna get past Connor. No, I'm in too deep now. I gotta... Uh, I gotta yeah. go all the way, baby. Uh, you know what? Part of this. This is, this is too incredible not to see the other else. <laughs> Yeah, we gotta see how ridiculous this gets. It's like I said, I, and I don't know how much I've missed, but I, I feel like I need to look up the rest of this because I need to see how insane this gets. You didn't miss too much, you only missed beating the crap out of the first gang. What were they? They look like the group from the Warriors or something? They were called the Dreads. Please, what are they wearing? Tell me, please. A lot of... A lot of... The Sure it's a neon, neon uh, th 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 they were your stereotypical Rastafarians. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where were you fighting them? Pay and now, anyway. Me here, please. And then you fight the boss in a group of villains in a movie theater. Oh, God. The God. Oh, this is amazing. I am looking this shit up when we get off tonight. I am watch. I am looking this up. This is amazing. This sounds amazing. Go, Javier. Use the powers of love and love. I call this special move breaking two. All right, let's go back to let's go back to pajama pants. See what happens. Oh, you can't do it this time. Oh, this guy's kicking your ass. Yeah, Connor, it seems to be so hard. I don't think you can beat him. And the controls are such shit, and the combination just makes it all all the worse. To be fair, none of these arcade games really gave you a, a combination list. <laughs> One, two, three, but people are like, you gotta figure them out for yourself. Wasn't that pretty much the norm of all these games? Some did, some didn't. This one makes Which it so hard did? that even the I, regular controls I, are a bitch to figure out. I, I never ever saw one arcade game that gave you a moves list. I ain't 
Okay, round two. Might be a finally. <laughs> but you lost at the last moment. Let's try the new guy one more time. That's right, go for the dick punches. Go. There's no reason to be noble. Look, this motherfucker's gonna throw a white chair, but I'm pretty sure we can throw a dick puncher too. And at, at that point, all rules and logic are out the window. That I say all rules, but logic still has something here. Two men beating the shit out of each other. What logic is there? And what are you gonna do with I have no idea what this gym deal is. Apparently <laughs> they, run they, some, run. they run some blood sport shit. Just an underground fight room people bet money on. Kind of like a, uh, um, a pit fighter, if you will. Uh oh. Yeah, yeah, that last game was better. You were ahead to make money. Yeah, but, yeah, you know, it took me a while to look that up. Yeah. Um, I think you should probably use a cheater or something to get past this, if you keep getting your ass at it again. Uh, what was that about using cheats? Oh, you won this time. Okay. All I know is that the Bloodsport must have been a really popular movie in the late 80s between Pit Fighter, Mortal Kombat, and probably this. A lot of game dips must have seen that movie when it came out. By the way, here's a still of the boss. Take a look at this. <laughs> How ridiculous Continue is that? Continue to Sorry. Take a look at this. Oh, dear Jesus. Yeah, the Joker fell on some pines. Looks like a reject for Warren Beatty's Dick Tracy film. <laughs> and he also looks, he also kind of looks like Michael Jackson in a way. Oh, we're in Chinatown. Oh, because yeah, after hey, fighting Ro after fighting Rastafarians, I don't think this game really gives a shit about being sensitive. <laughs> we went from okay, we went from okay, what was that stick out film where he's fighting Rastafarians? Hold on. Um, we went.
All right, we went from Mark for Death to the Warriors to Big Trouble in Little China. This man loves yep. showing off his chest. This, <laughs> this game is insane. I just gotta love that old Chinese woman who's just sweeping, going, eh, nothing's happening. This shit must happen very regularly if she's not even phased by this. <laughs> you saw it, didn't you? <laughs> she just smacked you. <laughs> oh, she just did that. <laughs> Get the fuck away from me. <laughs> yeah, well, there was also there was also a blonde woman who did the same thing in the first level. Ah, uh, the mo that guy's walking <laughs> animation. <coughs> Imagine you, you fail at trying to act sexy, dude. Cause there's, oh God. there's the only reason I can think of for why he would have the shirt open so you can see his chest. Seriously, though, I love your playing. Connor is basically a Vanilla Ice backup dancer. <laughs> That's what hey, you're destined for, wrong. Connor. Hey, you're like... Yeah, it was this guy who had, like, multi-sport app. Yeah, he's grown up to be a, a Vanilla Ice backup dancer. Yeah, that's about as far as he's gonna go. I'm going into a strip club. <laughs> oh. Let it be a strip club. God, because if there's one place strip club you want to go to, it's the one in Chinatown. <laughs> Considering how big Chinatown is, and it's New York how City. Many venere how many venereal de diseases can we count, kids? There's one, there's one, there's one. Too many to count, and prob and you probably end up getting them all. Now, now I've been to strip clubs where bar fights broke out, that one one's still dancing. <laughs> I've seen full brawls break out strip clubs. People are not still having fun. <laughs> the people in the background are irrelevant to the situation, so they they have it have the syndrome. Somebody else is problem, but they can't see the fight happening. Apparently, like, wouldn't that be great if this was some bizarre like the, the secret twist that this is all in this guy's head? <laughs> He's just some yeah, a war which person he stay in the city. <laughs> What was that movie oh, yeah, where yeah, everything where, was like, a, like a, some kid's snow globe? That was the end of a TV show called Seen Elsewhere. Oh yeah, yeah that, that was the twist of it. Yeah. Uh, Tommy Westfall, I believe his name was. They created a whole giant theory due to those that ended Pajama up there and the they rescue. Show... That was a, it created a giant ass theory. Thanks to crossovers and then those crossovers and oh shit, what they dragged through. That was a that dark was... ending too, because I've watched a bit of that show. Not to mention they killed That was a, a dark fucking ending. They, uh, they also killed a kid. Probably all in a kid's all in a disabled kid's head. Yeah, that's a dark way to end something. Anything. Yeah, and then it spawned a theory due to crossovers and such that there's a giant world inside this kid's head. This is Seinfeld's process show. I swear Seinfeld must have made it. That seems like one of those twists that everyone would have had to have taken a jab at at some point. Well, it's part of it who then you'd have have a long line back you have to find a way to connect it all the way back to St. Elsewhere. And they kill the kitten. What? Yeah what what Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Saying elsewhere, that was a, that was a hospital drama, right? Yes, that was Denzel Washington. Okay. Wait, really? At the end, at at the end of the last episode, uh, there is a there is a cat sitting on a hospital bed during the credits, and you can hear beeping, and then the then the beeping just goes beep, and it fades in. With the MTM logo. Remember MTM? Okay. Oh Remember? yeah, that's brutal. That's... Yeah, for those that don't know, MTM is Mary Tyler Moore's production company, and every, at the end of every one of of uh, her shows that she's produced, there would be a there would be the logo with a little tiny kitten going. 
like New Heart, uh, WKRP. I think those those are the only two I recognize. But there was a couple other variations where the cat catches a baseball or the cat uh, drops a uh, drops a drops a detective pipe, a Sherlock Holmes style pipe. That but, must have been yeah. a detective show if that would happen. But yeah, it's, it's seen elsewhere, they they they, they killed the kitten. I think it was, it was a, a dark cat. show, man. It was a really dark show. Was... I figure the cat was just asleep, but they wanted to give you the impression that the cat was dead. <laughs> and if you look on YouTube, you will see that cat. <laughs> look up St. Elsewhere finale credits. You will see it. It's there. <laughs> Back to the game. I'm doing that right now. Oh, sweet Jesus. <laughs> I just picked it up. Fuck. You see it, don't you? Oh, it's right there in front of the screen with the IV bag and the fucking heart monitor. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, that's some, that's some cold-blooded shit right there. <laughs> fucking flat line. <laughs> oh, oh, that's so dark. It's hysterical. Gang defeated. You have defeated the dragon's leader. He will now help you save the hood. All right, let's see what Quan has to offer. Love it. I help you save the hood. Someone yes. got paid to write this. So One, two, three, fight. Damn! Oh, you're watching the cr Oh, isn't it fucking hysterical, though? I mean, Jesus. Wow. Like, how did it end of that? It's, it's like so... somebody wanted... Not, somebody really wanted to wrap it up the the darkness. After, it's so after dark, giving you the it's end. funny. Like, it's the, like... Probably it's actually... some mental, mental kid's head. Let's kill the cat of the logo. You know what? No, I'm gonna try that again. Fuck this bitch.
Alright, hell with it. Let's do a mirror match. You know, just like in Tekken Tag Tournament 2, all this really needs is Snoop Dogg rapping in the background. Okay, apparently Jazzercise Bitch's weakness is forearm shots, shots to the back of the head. Whatever works! For once, real girl, I agree. Whatever works. One thing's for sure, she is not going to win just from waiting out the clock. You want to beat me? You're going to have to beat me. And it looks like she's doing just that by chucking exercise bikes at me. <laughs> In exercise bikes. You know what? Let's give the new guy one more shot. Notice how much the the guy that's supposed to be the owner or trainer in this gym scuttles alive. <laughs> he has Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. Probably.
And Mr. Kung Fu Man wins with a cut punt. Sounds like a dog that's been that that's been kicked. Hey, you know what? I could do that shit too. I could throw exercise bikes too. How about that? You finally found out the combination to let you pick up things. I beat her with a kick to the face. Oh no, not their pretty face! Um, I hate to break this to you, but it was never pretty.
Dry help of Hello? Hello? Yeah, still here. Everybody went quiet. Yeah, because I'm busy trying to beat the crap out of the... Uh, out of the... Well... Essentially, a combination of all the gangs. So you're about to meet the person who really runs all the gangs. Yeah, some mobster. Hell of a creepy fun hat. Well, it wouldn't be a good fun house if it wasn't creepy. So you're saying it's required for a fun house to be creepy? The good ones, yes. I elbow you in the butt. I'm going to pile drive that old lady so many times she's going to forget she's an old lady. <laughs> and probably a lot of other things as well.
Uh, wait, what? The big boss is not only a woman, but a dominatrix? Right? There's something fishy about the little person. Kill big boss. And no, you don't get a Metal Gear out of this situation. Sorry. Lost his name. wrong with this game because it seems the big boss is beating the crap out of you but you seem to be no, doing no damage or at all. Yeah, she seems to have a insane amount of, ha of HP. I just gave her a pile driver. Look how little health I took off of her. Yeah. And she just picked up a, picked up a wrestler with one hand. Sometimes oaks can be deceiving. Maybe if just like uh, the, the exercise chick, maybe her weakness is a ju jumping punch to the back of the head. Probably. Oh, my thing's free three for a moment and it looks like she, she could counter right in the balls.
There's a little more chipping. It's the pile driver to save the day. <coughs> oh, I get it's gonna keep counting specials. Um, I need to turn off the specials. <laughs> there we go. I wasn't able to figure out how to use specials, so I uh I didn't really end up using them at all. Congratulations to Man Titty Man, you've saved the hood! Yep. Wait, what? And now you're going to be arrested for multiple charges of assault and battery. Um, newspaper headline, Teens Take Back Hood? What? <laughs> Teens. Teens? Um. That is not a teen. <laughs> not in the slightest. Um. I wouldn't be surprised if, uh. This guy was in his late 30s, perhaps? Probably. Yeah, that's usually the age of the actors you play high school students, right? These guys look older than teens. Alright. Who's responsible for this shit? Project Leaders, Designers, Gary Stark, Mark Steven Pierce. Mark Steven Pierce. Why do I recognize that name? I think it was in one of the other games we played. Well, Pit Fighter 1, maybe. Programmers Gary Stark, Andrew J. Burgess, Ed Rothberg, Elite Animator Nick Stern, Animators, Engineers, Digital Imaging, Audio. Okay, how many quarters did I waste on this? 58 quarters. 58 quarters. How, how, 58. I had to buy four. Like 14 and a half, I think. <laughs> $14.50. Um. Most of which to beat a dominatrix with way too much health. Poop man is at least 40. <laughs> I agree, Frankenstein. <laughs> oh my god. Guardians of the Hood. What the fuck? And you know what? We ain't done. We ain't done. What's the next game you have up your, up your plan? Well, first off, I ain't going to uh, another game right yet because there is one thing I need to double check. Uh, uh, hang on, hang, hang on. on. Hang on. Wait, what? Because I I know that name from somewhere.
Oh my god. I found them. Fine. I'll probably end up playing this game eventually. But yeah, here's uh here's the lead designer for this for Guardians of the Hood. The the one of the lead the project leaders, I mean. Mark Steven Pierce. Here he is, folks. Rob Rowe had worked with the 720 team, John Solowitz, Dave Rawson, those guys had set up a, okay. a skateboard half pipe ramp in the back here. Um, Full scale. One of the better ones I've ever seen. Ten um, foot of radius. I ten. Build it. Yeah. You ten on foot of radius with like uh, two to three feet of straight vertical at the top drop. And they did that, and they had some of the best skateboarders in the area at the we time. We had not, not only the best skateboarders in the area, we had the best boarders in the world. Yeah. And, and we would be there playing around. We'd videotape them, and the purpose was, oh. you know, kind of like Walt Disney filmed Deers for Bambi. We had to film these skateboarders yeah, I to understand this guy. skateboarding. Did you found one of the clip and, uh, from the. Well, no, but was a fantastic arc. animator worked on that. The Midway Arc. Um, a great job had. of capturing all of that. But we had a whole skateboarding ramp set up, and it became kind of like a party area. And it was really. It was really that's right when I first started working here, and it was just incredible. You come to this place, you make video games, and in the back there's a skateboarding ramp. I mean, it was, it was, it was beautiful. <laughs> Did you can imagine a joystick that was revolved on a circular basis? It wouldn't return upright, sort of it just in a circle, which would enable you to do the 720. If you got your speed going right, hit a curve, you could flip in the air and do this, right? Yeah. To do the move. <laughs> do the move. <laughs> <coughs> but yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that was Guardians of the Hood, and. I knew I recognized that name, Mark Stephen Pierce, from somewhere. <laughs> wow. Yep. Just wow. Hold for Ed.